that is here today. From the countless numbers of you who've called our council office in the opposition of this construction of the park, to all of you who've signed the petitions, to all of you who wrote letters to the council office, that is to retain the integrity of Averill Park, the park truly thanks you. children and is not about our councilmen. It is about tradition, that of which is passed from generation to generation. Our parents, our grandparents, and our great-grandparents have handed to us a very special place, unchanged for decades. Remember, we are here today not to debate an issue, but to share a passion to preserve and pass on a great tradition called Averill Park. We got the best support room. Yeah. Stand firm with this tradition. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Thank all of those who work directly with me in the pursuit of this objective. I would like to thank Donna Little John of the News Pilot for continually covering this story. Yeah. Yeah. To the editor, Philip Sandfield of the News Pilot, 
taking a truly unique part, something San Pedrans are extraordinarily proud of, and adding typical playground equipment? The answer is no! no! I believe this view from the editor, along with the news pilot, has echoed our sentiment, and we are very grateful for that opportunity. I would like to now bring a couple people forward who would also like to address this crowd. The first one is Bill Roberts. Hey, Bill. I don't like to be cynical, but the Naval Park Project almost fits the category of Big Brother Knows What's Best for Us. I sometimes get the feeling that our public servants seem to forget that they are supposed to be working for us. What bothers me the most about this situation is that somehow the Department of Rec and Parks has found extra money which may be spent or they will lose it. Up until now, we have been led to believe that they haven't had the funds to do some very obvious, necessary maintenance jobs in San Pedro. For example, two such projects come immediately to mind. Number one, sad state of the beautiful bathhouse building on Cabrillo Beach. Winter storm could further damage that historical building because of the deterioration on the roof. Not to mention the long promised complete renovation of the structure. Number two, the unfinished decorative wall on the bluff perimeter at Point Furman Park. That is a disgrace. I do recognize that good intentions motivated the, the startup of this project. But it is unfortunate that community input as a whole was not consulted as part of the project. This work, is, this park, is highly revered, just as it is. What a beautiful natural jewel in our midst. Please leave it as it is. Yeah. Uh, I can't read upside down. <laughs> Less than two weeks ago, and on a shoestring budget, friends, neighbors, and concerned community members began working together to create a, this is no pun intended, grassroots movement to protect and preserve the unique beauty Abel Park has to offer. I am very thankful that on Tuesday of last week, the workmen and their shovels and cement makers uh, were, were sent away so we can have the chance to help councilman Saborna to understand why we must preserve the integrity and beauty of this special park. I'm sure... I don't ever remember sharing a story with an old friend about the good old days that included a relationship I had with a special slide or sand pit. But I do know that I have reminisced of many special adventures and experiences I had as a child in this park. I cherish my childhood memories that were created here, and I want this legacy preserved and passed on to future generations. can experience the freedom, joy, hope, and adventure that being close to nature stimulates. We are not against change and progress. There may be things that need improvement in this community, but the setting of this park with an original design that is near perfection cannot be improved upon. Many right. ways for children to have fun. The San Pedro area provides wonderful playground opportunities. Why not offer everyone a choice of the kind of experience they want to have? Keep Abel Park a place where imagination, creativity, and the art yeah. of pretending are the tools at hand. Please strengthen, please strengthen the cause by signing the petitions, get other people to sign the petitions, refer them to Alva's at Weymouth as a drop-off point, and we'll pick them up. And please let Rudy Sobornich know to stop this project. Thank you for demonstrating your concern, appreciation, and willingness to take a stand to protect and preserve.
historic Able Park by coming here this morning. We move forward knowing that the integrity of this park and its natural beauty must and will prevail. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to uh, also thank uh, Relic, also from the community here. Today to talk about tradition, unity, customs, and a sense of pride. These are only a few of the qualities that set San Pedro apart from other communities. San Pedro, as you know, is a city of tradition. And one of the finest traditions is Averill Park. That's why it's so important for us to preserve this park for future generations, to carry the tradition we hold so dear, of crawdad fishing, family picnics, rolling down the hill, feeding the ducks, you all know what I'm talking about. You all have your own special experiences here and memories. This is what makes this park unique. It's the natural surroundings and the simple pleasures. Simple pleasures are lasting pleasures. And it's the foundation for the Averill Park experience. We must not forget what Averill Park has come to represent to us. Not just to San Pedrans, but to all people from other cities and states and countries. I'm grateful for the opportunity to stand here in front of you and see so many people, friends and relatives and their children. I also want to mention that over the last week, I have met the most wonderful people that have come together to help preserve this park. And they all share my passion for the park. Please join us in supporting a truly great tradition and preserving Averill Park for generations. We have a couple more people, so please, this is great job, if you'd like to say a few words. Hi, I, I want to first start off to say that April Park, at this moment in time, is the only park in San Pedro that does not have playground equipment. It is the only option left for families and children to have an alternative to playing on the swing. This way parents get to actually interact with their children and play hide and seek with their children. And even though I have many, many memories of growing up in San Pedro and playing in this park, I would like to share a recent experience I've had with this park. Thursday morning, I would leave my house. I would walk the same path through this park. I would go to the coffee shop and get some tea, herbal, no caffeine. <laughs> and I would pick up this newspaper and I would start my day and start my trek to what was to be chemotherapy and my road ahead for the next week. And this went on for eight months and then radiation. And I found a new piece as an adult in April Park. And if you could, anyone here who might be on the fence about this issue, if you could just listen to the park, not with your human eyes and ears, but listen to it with the eyes and ears of your soul and hear what it is saying to you, I think that you too will see that this park has been wounded, but it has not been destroyed. And we can bring it back and maybe even make it better, I hope because this park has beautiful things to teach us and to show us. And I hope that it will be so for generations and generations to come. Our forefathers of this town gave us something grand and beyond the normal, and we should try to preserve it. And I'm here to preserve this park as I would fight for any friend that has stuck by me at a time when I needed them. And this park was here when I needed it. And I hope it'll stay that way. Thank you.
the uh, pumps over here are uh, dated 1972. Why doesn't our tax money go to those things to make it safe and especially to use the restroom? Because our government's corrupt. <laughs> Okay, and out at uh, Point Furman, I also walk out there. This is before I go to work. Uh, the uh, footpaths leading to the restroom are treacherous. I photographed it and been writing letters for a year. If this concerns any of you, the, uh, the safety of it all, you know, let, uh, let them hear about it because that money could be spent for that. Thank you. We have now made our presence at the park. We have now been heard. Where's Rudy? We have now made our we invited him. We have now made our impression on the community. Our rallying cry from here on out will be, let's retain tradition, preserve Averill Park. down to the site, around the park, and we'll come back here. Yeah. All right. Okay. From the council's office, before we make the trek around the park, we'll be Irene Mendoza. Welcome. Take that back to him. Oh, I will. I will take you. The project needs to stop. Right there. Elder, the gallop the whole thing. There's a lot of public Absolutely many more signatures. We have them. We have them up here for you. And we need many more phone calls. Drop it off at Alvin's and Wayne's Corners. That's the drop-off place for completed positions. By what date? As soon as possible. There's no cut-off date.
Babies. All of them babies. Well, how do we get them off the boat? Come on, babies. Come on. Thank you, Mama. Come on. Come on. Some of these are babies. Here, didn't you, Sorrow? Well, was a pleasant surprise. What about the fuel? There's only one drum left. That's enough for about 100 kilometers. About a day's ride. Well, that will have to do. Go, go. Back to your mother. 